In this video, we are going to map the cart object in the view X, and then we're going to map it to our shopping cart. So let's go ahead and do that. So go to your editor, and you want to go to cart.view, and down here you want to type script, and then you want to import getter map from view X. But we haven't created the getter for getting this cart state, so we have to go to index.js and you want to type get cart past the state and then will be return state dot cart simple as that and then now we can go back to cart of view and then we can create computed properties and then we can type dot 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 which is spread operator map getters and then we want to call get cart we can copy get cart and find list of the item which is this part and now here you want a v4 product in get cart and I pass the key which should be product dot underscore id and we want to map all the data here so product will be in here will be src should be colon and then product dot photo and then we have product title we change this to product dot title and then this will be product owner so this will be product dot owner dot name and then we go down quantity this will handle this section later on then product price which will be product dot price and that's all you want to save it you want to go back and there we have it all the products that we added so let's say we add a new product let's say we add another product which would be game of thrones so if you add and if we add to cart and go back to our cart there we have we have two products in here but now we have to fix our price because the price is not 39 the price is supposed to be 39 times the quantity of the product so we're going to go back and we're going to go to price let's find price so we're going to do a little bit of computation here which will be product price times product dot quantity save it and then we have it 195 which is correct because if you multiply 39 times 5 it will be 195 but now we haven't figured out how to accumulate the total price so how do we do this so let's go back to our index.js file and then we have to type get cart total price pass in the state here and then you want to type let total equals to zero we just want to compute all of the prices in our cart so if you compute 195 plus 89 will be 284 so we want that total price so let's go back and let's do state dot cart dot map so we want to loop all the product then product and then we want to do total plus equals to product dot price and then we have to multiply it with product dot quantity and after that you want to return the total because we have to return it now let's go back to our card view and let's go down and let's put here get card total price let's see the name it is the same all right let's go back and now we can call this get card total price getter and then we can set it to our total price which would be cart total price and then we can change this to get cart total price so if we go back it will be 284 which is correct and now we want to change this 99 to 284 as well so let's find that sub total here we are and then get cart total price and it will be 284 as well and then we want to change this subtotal to item to the total products in our cart which is six so let's go back to our editor and you want to go down and you want to call one more thing which is get cart length and copy this and you want to find subtotal change this to get cart length and let's find another subtotal save it let's go back and now we have subtotal six items same goes to here as well so now if you refresh the page the whole product in the cart will disappear this is not the correct behavior that we want for our shopping cart feature. We want the data to persist. We're going to fix this in the next video.